here with Ed Diaz at the 2013 Winter NAM show. One of the first videos of the show, I think the second video of the show we're doing here at Roland's pre NAM Wednesday night event. This is the new V Combo, the VR09. And if you know anything about the V Combo, it's draw bars, it's rotary sounds, it's pianos, it's electric pianos, it's a few synth sounds, it's it's everything you need to get through the gig on one keyboard. One keyboard. Am I guessing that right? You're that, yeah. right. Just one keyboard, that's all you need just to get it and go. So, uh, Want to we'll talk about it real quick. First thing, 12 pounds. That's all it weighs. 12 pounds, so easy to just put in the car, small car, big car, bump head, no problem. Also, does come with it's a power like supply. Yeah, pretty easy, right? It's like weighs nothing. It's like oh yeah, my finger. Because how many times we're at a gig and you're like, oh, this is so heavy. So 12 pounds, easy to go. Now we also have comes with a power supply, but can also use eight AA batteries. You know, and so those will last approximately six hours. So it's that commitment to battery power that Roland has been known for for the past few years. Yep, yep. So, like I said, it does come with the power supply. Now, another cool thing is we have the sound split up in three block sections, okay? The first section is the organ section right here. So we have this guy. We have this section right here, which we can go ahead and adjust all the parameters of organs, such as their harmonics. Well, we can also adjust uh, things like noise level. We can adjust the click on, click off. We can adjust percussion. It's a very, very easy to program, and it's all instant. And then also, a nice fun thing, if we hit the pitch band right here, left or right, it turns on and off the rotary speaker very quickly. So we can just hit it. This is your fast low switch. Yeah, that's yeah. it, right there. Well, another thing you'll, you'll end up noticing, we, we can edit all these sounds here, but we also have a free iPad app that you can get on iTunes, of course, and uh, you can edit the organ sounds this way. And so in here, we can edit even more of the same. We can edit uh, percussion, vibrato, of course, all right here in front of you. Now, another cool thing, with the use of MIDI and maybe one of our other products like the RD64, you can have dual manual going and you can have a full-on clone. Plus, you can put a PK foot pedal in here and have, you know, dual manual and kick pedals if you want to go that way and control it either with the keyboard or with cool. the app. And I'm seeing that as I move the draw bars, the, um, the, uh, fa uh, the dr animated draw bars on the iPad app are moving yep, every in perfect sync with it. Ev um, everything's together. Let's uh, hear this with, like, some high draw bars and fast rotary. Here, take a ride. Take a ride, Steve. Now, here you go. So one thing I noticed, you, also we have seven simultaneous effects. So we can have the rotary speaker going over here, but we can have overdrive. We can adjust the tone, compression, master effects. And on this one we had, on this particular organ, we have a ring modulator. So you can make it a little dirty if you want. And then you see we have the delay, and we have tape echo here too. So if we wanted to... We can get pretty crazy with just the organ sound. Now, this is not predominantly just organ. You know, there's two other blocks. So we have the piano block over here, which we can go into. And the, so we have our pianos, uh, very nice electric, electric pianos. Are there any of these uh, supernatural based? No, the, the main supernatural is the organ. Okay. So this is the organ. Now, since we have all these effects over here, say you like, I like that, I like that electric piano, but maybe I want a little bit of delay. Well, we just touch the delay. And there it is. Very quickly, we can adjust it. Maybe we want a little bit of reverb. We just touch it right here. It brings up the type of reverbs, and we just adjust which type of reverb we would like, be it a plate, cathedral hall, stage, and we just adjust it. Also, in the master effect on this particular sound on the electric piano, we have tremolo. See, and I find the quick tweaking uh, to be important because uh, with things like reverb and EQ, you know, you can sit, you're getting ready for your gig, you're setting up all your layers and splits in your studio, and you've got your, your live rig cloned there on like a two-tier stand. Yep. Um, and then you get to the gig, and you're in the room where the gig is, and something always needs more or less reverb, or it always needs different EQ. Yeah. And, and then when bodies come into the room and start soaking up some of that sound, the picture changes yet again. Changes so, everything. Yeah, so this way, at the gig, you know, it sounds well with our studio, like Stephen's saying, but when we go to the gig, if we have to change quickly, we can change qu quickly without any stress. So we have this section over here. Now we have the synth section. Now this synth section is very exciting. So uh, let's say right here, 
we get to take, take like a Jupiter brass, uh, JP8 kind of brass. Okay, great, a lot of different synth sounds in here, but here's the fun thing. When we go into the synth block, now the draw bar section, we can adjust synth parameters, okay? So let's take a, a JP8 brass, and we can adjust oh, the- Oh, wait a minute, I'm seeing this here. Yeah. You draw bars for attack, decay, and release. Yep, and then also cut off and resonance right oh, here. Filtered. Oh, nice. Yeah, so nice. we can take this JP8 brass and just adjust a little attack. Maybe a little bit of relief. Now we just turn it into a nice, little, a nice little pad right there, instantly. And of course, we can adjust our cutoff and resonance right here. Very, very quick and very, very easy. Now, once again, you, there's a free iPad app that com this comes with. And when, so when we're in organ, you see the organ parameter. When we switch to synth, it automatically switches. So this basically looks just like. Um the synth editing, the supernatural synth editing screen at the deepest tone level on the Roland Jupiter 80. Yes. Um, which is, you know, kind of like a Gaia or kind of like three stacked up polyphonic SH 101s. Yeah. Is how you'd. Yeah. So, think so of that. when we're editing the synth parameters on the VR09, we're editing the synth tone, but when we hook up the iPad app, now we're editing the synth partials within the tone. So, three partials right. or three oscillators. Yeah. So. So you, you'll notice, uh, and you can show it up there if you like, we, can, we see all, all the different uh, uh, edit, your oscillator, your filter, your amp, plus if we go into the LFO section, we can go ahead and edit our modulation LFO, LFO and our regular LFO right there. Now here's something even cooler. Say we, we want to mix these sounds, very easy to mix. So say I want to go ahead and put a common uh, electric piano with a string. Hit the electric piano, then hit the string. Now they're together. And that's a layer. That's that quick. Let's say we want to go in and put maybe a brass and a synth lead. And there How about a split? A split. There's a split button. And so I might have the JP8 over here, synth lead so here. So once you hit the split, how do you select the lower and the upper? Okay. So de depending on which one you do first. So if I want to go ahead and have... Uh, if I want to have the lead first on top, hit that one first, and then the one that I want to have on the lower, hit that one So the next. second thing is your left-hand part. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, yep. sir. Once we have our splits and layers, we can easily save them by creating a registration. We have up to 100 registrations, so there's 25 banks of four registrations, and so we can call them up very quickly. Now, what we did at Roland, we thank you for our live guys, so we've made a lot of synth-oriented registrations in here. Right, and, just, you know, if, and if you're new to the, the, the terminology, registration is a patch that, it, it's like a meta patch. It saves the entire state of the instrument. Uh, it's a term from the organ world, but it saves everything. They so. Exactly, saves yeah. everything. For our live gig, maybe we start off the song with a big, you know, <laughs> big old drone, like in the old days. Maybe the next tune is the old <laughs> big 80s kind of song. The 80s ballad piano, yep. yeah. Maybe we got to do some, from your area, a little Bay, Bay Area <laughs> organ. <laughs> so we can have them real quick. Right in there. Cool. For yeah, live can, can I layer? Um, uh, there's, I see a drum section too. I'll ask you about that in a minute. But can I layer organ, piano, and synth at the same time? We can layer up to two blocks at the same okay. time. So we but you can, can layer organ with anything else. Yes. Yes. So we can layer yeah. organ with piano, organ with synth. Uh, we can also layer two synths or two different pianos. You know, two organs. So it's just two, two of in any combination. Two in any combination cool. we can work. Cool. We can layer. Now the drum section is this like a rhythm track for accompaniment? R like a, a rhythm, just uh, the rhythm track. So we go in right here. We press the drums. <laughs> hear all the. So you got match kits. Got match kits in here, and then we go ahead and press it. We have some built-in rhythms, different types of uh, rhythms right here, and we could just pick anything. Press play. And it's right. It's Where's the Bernard Purdy shuffle? Oh, the Bernard a little bit of ah, <laughs> suck it, suck it now. No, <laughs> yeah, that's a good yeah. one. So what we could also do is we have a looper right here. So this is a lot of fun. We could go into looper. We have a 20 second audio looper right here, and I can go ahead and bring anything in. But I like to go ahead and bring in right away maybe my rhythm. Got this guy going. Just have that. Just looped it. Now, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and bring something else in here. Maybe we're bringing that. This guy, record it. Go ahead and try maybe the next sound. Maybe like a synth thing. Wanted to record it. 
And now if we wanted to, nice. we, if we had the USB plugged in, we could save that loop as an audio file, put it in our DAW, kind of have some fun with it. Or save it for oh, later cool. for our next gig. Now, some other cool things about this. We already spoke about the app, and we, we can use the, the camera kit, uh, uh, but we also have wireless. So we have our wireless, our WNA 1100, have this guy going, and we can just have them communicate wirelessly as well. So you stick this in the keyboard. Yep, stick this into the keyboard, and you can set up what we call ad hoc, so it can set up its own network. And what so you keyboard directly to your iOS device, yep, your iPad. Yep, with no cables. Yeah. So you can keep it nearby, and you can be communicating with it. Just like the quickly. Integra 7, which we just Exactly yeah. like the Integra 7. Yeah. So, and also, since we do have the USB memory, we can play back audio files, WAV, AFF, MP3, of course, and right. then play them with the song player as well, and play along. So, very, very fun, very easy keyboard. Um, you know what this sort of reminds me of, actually, although it, it's at a different level, of course, is that in the late 70s and early 80s, before full-on polyphonic synthesizers were becoming really affordable, I mean, you had things like the Prophet 5, which was, you know, $4,500. Yes. But you had these things called ensemble keyboards. Yeah. And I'm thinking of things like the Chord Trident and the Arp Quadra, mm -hmm. uh, which had different sections corresponding to different parts of an orchestra or parts in an arrangement. And then you had individual level controls for each section. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bit like that idea. Yeah. That you have what you need to be different parts in the band or parts in your keyboard rig, and they're mixable, and they're internally tweakable as much as you need them to be. Yes. Yes. And so forth. So, uh, how much is it? Street price is going to be a uh, nine ninety nine. For for that price, that street price, you get a lot of org, a lot of bang for the buck. Now, also make sure that people have realize I haven't gone into any of the menus. We've been doing everything right on top of the board, right on top yep. of the board. Because you know, at, at the gig, we don't have time to dig. We don't have to have to dig for menus and stuff. That's way we can just grab and go, grab and go, very easy. So, uh, one more thing to mention: the organs are full polyphony, full polyphony like right. an organ. And the Leg piano and synth, the keyboard polyphony. piano and synth are 128 notes of polyphony. So that's still industry standard. So, does a great job. Cool. Well, that's the Roland V Combo VR09, and uh, you're going to be looking for. You're going to be seeing a review in the pages of Keyboard Magazine of this, and of the RD64 soon. The RD64 is completely badass as yep. well. Um, so uh, keep watching KeyboardMag.com for more from the 2013 Winter Nam Show. Ed, thanks very much. Hey, my pleasure. Take care, guys.